here is uh, revolutionary 5 s5 room running version 1 today morning there was an update version 2 of the same so I am going to flash it you can say dirty flash because I want to retain my apps so let's see how it works it's already downloaded I am now rebooting into recovery mode still I would wipe out Delvi Cache and Cache remaining all the apps would be as still I would not delete data and system so wipe advanced wipe Delvi Cache get Cache and ok here we go now we would select a file to be flashed install and it's in the download revolutionary s5 version 2 plus one more So it's flashing aroma installer so it would be giving us options like you are about to install the version 54i930 version 2 update 23rd March 2014 that is today next congratulate in a space to install smart droid nice interface it gives us the change log what's the new in this it was about version 1 so I agree okay EFS backup no because I have it already I'm using TWRP and backup download set ok we'll see if it works format system it says yes wipe data ok let it wipe ok preload wipe internal SD card no If I say wipe data, okay, check, okay, next. I would prefer 320 DPI. Extreme powerful profile enhanced by select internal mode. Let me do this aggressive mode. This one, no graphics. Okay, next. Here it's showing 0.0%, but the not showing it's working. I would say that the stock ROM have the lag when compared to the KitKat 4.4 by it's now rebooting your device it says has been installed into your device next 
so I was telling that the stroke is laggy in compared to the Cyanogen mode 11 that is 4.4 but still this ROM is very good for me the stroke Samsung logo here we go the phone has just vibrated in few seconds it would pop yes it popped up that is the same feature of the things which we don't know Be sure the mobile data is on and if you are in the Wi-Fi it would charge you. So let me enter my password. It's a bit laggy, maybe the first boot. Mm. Battery is not there. Much laggy. It shows version 2.0 from XDA and release date is 23rd 2014. It's bit laggy, bit not but more laggy. It may be smooth after second boot. Mm. Let me check my contacts. So the contacts have been gone. I have to recover from Google. Here were the apps that are installed from the ROM and some were installed from this were previous ROM so here are something new applications per app settings I guess Okay, so this is the per app settings in which you can select the DPI for the selected application. The screen DPI, full screen or title, not notable, large resolution. Keep the screen on, this was a good option. So when locked, resident notifications and all that. So basically you... use the app settings which have all these options you can use it in all the installed applications whether system or <clears throat> manual so for example if we choose a small app say for example Opera Mini and I turn it on screen DPI default Let's see how does it work. Launch. Oops, it's installing.
let's launch again no it's not working oh last try It's not working for me or I am not <clears throat> having proper knowledge to do it. Now other application for Samsung tool called Backup EFS, Restore EFS, Reboot, Hot Reboot, Recovery, Download Mode. Okay, so it was a restart options, shutdown options boot in to recover your download mode expose installer is installed by default when I'm exposed would be So here you have various options for the clock, where to put it, where, to, where uh, what is the size of the clock, AM, OPM, choose height, small, large, and circle battery. It was just similar to that of the Synergy mode settings or the SOP ROMs, two line date, signal bar counts, NFC icons. It was a fully customizable notification bar. It was a good part of this room. This for lock screen, hide carrier label, emergency call enable, application, lock screen settings, swipe lock. Okay, this was the stock one. Four sounds. Disable camera sound, boot sound, volume control, disable low battery sounds, system. Choose applications to include in the multi window. This might be helpful to limit your screen of multi window manager. Lots of application coming in and out and not properly arranging so it will, is a good way for organization here another thing okay message none phone add call button grease themes so here is the same once again you can adjust the status bar, circle color, battery color, text color, background, clock, status signal icon, status bar icons. It is a lot more customizable than I thought. Lot more. So many options. It would be turning out the best thing of this ROM. Advanced. That was it. Any new things? So, this was what I found. Lastly, I would once again see for the settings if there are any new things.
so here it is the three options are there smart stay rotation and smart pose so I would check if it's working smart pose So it's working. I am currently looking at the device. Now I am not looking. So it got paused. Again start looking. It's working. So smart pose is working. Okay. It wasn't working in the previous build but now it's working. Okay. Fixed. Any other thing it's new? <coughs> no. Okay. That's it.